couple of weeks ago, you were very confident that the younger players yep. were the right players to take you back to the Premier League. Do you still stand by that? Yeah, sure. Uh, that was the question of philosophy. Yeah, to uh, don't buy older players and try to get back in the Premier League with a couple of experienced uh, 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 players. Uh, uh, instead, to take young players, and you see, I'm always new, and uh, I was sure that the young players not ready from the first day, because they, a lot of them play in the youth team last season, and you cannot, uh, uh, you cannot ask youth players yeah, to bring you in the Premier League. That was never the idea, but it was a way to take young players besides and then develop to a Premier League team. But it's becoming quite clear that it's taken a while for them to gel, right. for them to, to get on track and right. for your campaign to be successful. How are you going to speed up that process? Yeah, we go on with this process, yeah, and, uh, but uh, you see, it was never a doubt that we need, besides, experienced players, and so we have, uh, uh, in the situation now in the uh, uh, transfer market, we always looking for players, experienced players, who can help us at once, and so, yeah, I told you the last weeks, always, we are looking for players, and there will be two, three more players, they came in to help us. And do you expect the fans to be patient? What do you want from the fans? Yeah, not only, uh, I want only that they are supporting the team, uh, because uh, uh, we have not good results, I know, but the players are, uh, they're very ambitious and they worked hard for that, and uh, now they need the support from the fans and uh, if they get them I'm sure we will uh, go on and so the last game on Tuesday has shown us yeah, that was the first step. I agree with you, it was not uh, a very important victory, you know? more important is tomorrow against Cardiff for us. I'm sure, but it was the first step and we have won the first game in this season and so I'm sure that we will be more confident tomorrow against Cardiff. Maybe it's looking at Cardiff, Gibor Karani goes straight into your squad. Pardon? Gibor Karani, the goalkeeper. Uh, at the moment he uh, has no permission, so I don't know. Uh, if he gets the permission for tomorrow, he will be part of the squad. What's the injury to Scott Parker? He rolled his ankle at, yeah. at Brentford. Will he be fit? I think so, yeah. I think he will be fit tomorrow. And is Bob Rill likely to play or is he more long term injury? Oh, Mark will uh, be uh, missing tomorrow. Yeah, he will not be able to join us. And uh, at the moment, we don't know. I hope he will get in next week, but it may be last a little bit longer. One of the things that John Lennon did say um, was that there was too much running and you were working the players too hard. Now, when you first arrived, some of your old players in Germany said similar things, but it was only a couple out of thousands that you coached. But does it worry you that the players you've had at Fulham think that? Yeah, you see, why, do me a favour, why you don't take your phone, yeah, and why you don't call, for example, uh, Raoul? Do you know Raoul? I don't know him personally, no. No, you see, it was a player from Spain. Yeah, and he, he was very successful. Yeah, he scored the most goals in the Champions League, ever. I ask him, why, why do you only ask me? Yeah. Or ask, maybe if he's too old for you, maybe ask Rakitic. He's not so old. Yeah. He's playing now for Barcelona. Yeah. He was a player for me a few years ago. Why you don't ask him? One player who, who does seem to be enjoying your, your training is Ross McCormack. Um, he's lost some weight now. How much of a big influence can he be on, on getting Fulham off the bottom of the table and perhaps even further up it now? Yeah, he's one of the best strikers, yeah, and uh, that's for sure. And uh, uh, unfortunately, yeah, he has a, a long period, longer period, where he. Uh, 
personal trading. So he stepped in only in the beginning of July. So he was not from the beginning part of our team. And then he develops and now he is fit and now he shows us how important he is for our team. He was the only transfer, yeah, which has cost really money. Yeah, you all, you'd always talk uh, sometimes about my transfers. You only talk only about Ross McCormick. It was one player, yeah, he has cost a lot of money. I agree. But you don't tell your uh, uh, spectators or your readers, you don't tell them, I have taken 13 players, and the 13 players have cost the club a few, a few millions, 13 players. Yeah. And then, except the 13 players I brought in, I take seven players from the youth academy or the under 21s. And then yeah, you can count together how much money we spent for the whole team, not only for one player. Does Daniel Adamark better league feature against Brentford they hadn't played before the season? Can we expect to see more of them? Yeah, sure. Yeah, but, uh, I was very pleased with his performance uh, at Tuesday, and yeah, I'm glad with him. So I hope yeah, it is the start of yeah his uh, performance at Fulham.